As you know by now, George Wagner IV is on trial for the murders of eight people in Pike County in 2016. This is week three in what could be two months of testimony. Jurors have now just learned about each of the four crime scenes. Court TV's Joy Lim Nakrin joins us live outside the courthouse in Waverly. So let's break this down. Today we got what a lot of people are talking about, and it's this fourth stipulation that no Wagner family DNA was found at a crime scene. What does that mean? Does it matter to this case? I think it matters a lot, Evan. So remember, we heard a similar stipulation with crime scene number one. After hearing from a BCI investigator describe what was found, what evidence was collected, uh, we heard that stipulation for crime scene number one. No Wagner DNA evidence, not from this defendant, George Wagner IV, not from his brother Jake, his mom Angela, or even from his father, George, also known as Billy Wagner III. Same thing for crime scene two, same thing for crime scene three. Here we are at crime scene number four, and again, Again, the same stipulation, no Wagner DNA found. So now we're talking about other types of evidence. We heard from a, a gun expert. We're looking at some of that video right now, BCI's gun expert. Uh, how important then is it that they're going to have to prove some kind of physical evidence? Um, they have a confession. Do they need the physical evidence? I would say that they absolutely do need some sort of physical evidence. It clearly isn't happening with the DNA, but here's where the ballistics expert could become very important. It's a BCI firearms expert named Matt White who has been on the stand today, and he will retake the stand tomorrow morning. Um, we have been able to gather from preliminary motions um, and prosecution filings that uh, there is a connection, they, they assert, um, between shell casings found at at least one of the crime scenes and weapons linked back to the Wagner family. So we do expect that this ballistics expert will prove a very important to this case. In addition, a shoe print evidence expert is expected to take the stand. And we've already heard testimony from investigators about shoe prints collected um, or dusted, I should say, at the crime scenes. But it's going to be up to that shoe print evidence expert who we expect later on in the case to testify to really spell out what that means. Uh, and it has been interesting. They've asked so many of these witnesses what they were wearing that day. So we only have a little bit of time left. Uh, Joy, I want to know what still needs to be shown here. What needs to come next? Yeah, so uh, when Matt White, the firearms expert with the Bureau of Criminal Investigations, retakes the stand tomorrow morning, he's going to continue with direct examination testimony. And so far, what we heard from him was really kind of foundational testimony, um, just kind of explaining his methodology ex and kind of going through what he did collect at the various crime scenes, including shell casings, including projectile or bullet fragments in the victim's bodies. But what we've not yet heard from him is how all that might link back to the so what we're going to be listening for, watching for tomorrow is what he may have collected at the Wagner family home and whether um, there were any firearms in his observation that matched back to those shell casings and those projectile fragments that he found at the crime scenes. We will all be watching. Uh, Joy, thank you so much for taking time and being with us here from live from Waverly. Uh, you can watch Joy and our friends at Court TV for free anytime over the air on channel 9.2 WCPO and Court TV. We should point out both.